Okay, so can you speak over your the microphone? Well, yeah, but you gotta at least try to get somebody to stand still. Okay. Oh, what I would do is just tell her to stand. Stand. Okay. Yeah. Do you want, can I move you? Uh, well, one of us needs to be Yeah, let me see. I'll see if I can. Okay, I'll be there. Stand. Stand. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape the dog and the judge is going to explain what she looks at on a dog when she's grading the dog because I think it's um, very helpful to people. Stop. Stand. So it's very helpful to people if they know what the judge is looking at, right? So what she's doing is taping the dog so she can pinpoint and show what she looks at when judging the dog. So Karma is, uh, she's got a ZTP and a BST, but she's spayed, so she's not in the show. So, this so is, she's this our is a demo. Perfect, perfect victim. This is our demo dog. <laughs> she's going to be patient enough so she's going to let me tape her something. Yeah. <laughs> good girl. Oh, that's very good. She's a good and green. Mm -hmm. Nice, eh? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's very pretty. It's like we're playing uh, X's and O's on you. Mm -hmm. Hi. You can hear those kids. Like, what is pretty? Well, it makes awesome. it a lot easier, right? Yeah, well, for sure. Stan? Stan? So we're video recording just so everybody's aware, so everything you say is going to be on the... Oh, so we'll blackmail you later. Move, move away. Yeah. Stand. Oops, sorry. And then can you speak with the loud speaker? With the loud speaker? Yeah, yeah, so everybody can hear. Okay. Okay, you guys. Some of the stuff that we look for is you can see the the two angles at the front from her wither to her point of shoulder back to the elbow. That is the front angulation that we're talking about when we're talking about on a dog, okay? And then yeah. you look at the back, it's from the yeah. pinion bone to the stifle down to the hock. So move back a little okay? bit. And if you look at both of them, you turn your head a little bit, they're both almost 90 degrees. So ideally, you want to have a 90 degree front, a 90 degree rear. If it's less than 90 degrees, what you're gonna find is the front assembly of the dog, which right now, I've got the tape on the wither going straight down to her leg. That would typically go basically almost through her toes, almost through her toes at the bottom of her foot, that line. So ideally what we're looking for is we're looking for a dog that's well set under. So set under means that the front legs are set under the body directly below the wither. So you take a line from the wither straight down and should go through those toes at the bottom of the foot. Okay? What happens with a lot of dogs is they have what's called a short upper arm. So the upper arm, this is the shoulder blade, this is the upper arm. When the upper arm is short, it takes this assembly, brings it forward. What happens then is when the dog goes to reach, it can't reach out that far. So you'll see a lot of the dogs, they'll take their foot up, and instead of planting it out here, it actually drops back before it touches the ground. So, ideally what we want to see when a Rottweiler is running is called daisy clipping. That means that they do not raise their feet high off the ground when they're moving, right? 
you want you want to have a bitch that that her feet just extend to the full extension if you guys look at her nose and you draw a line straight from the end of her nose straight down to the ground that's how far her front reach should be anything less than that is less than, is less than adequate i've actually seen some, some some bitches at the club singer show that actually extended it was it was something, something to see but typically what you'll see is straight from the nose down to the ground that that is the reach you want to see and when she reaches forward that leg and her her her, uh, she's going to create a triangle underneath her body. The size of that triangle should be exactly the same on the front assembly as on the back assembly. Then you have, you have a perfectly balanced front and rear drive. The other thing that we're looking for is called columns. Columns, do you want to see that? columns of support. So columns of support are the four legs. So. You can see the way she's standing. She's got a four chest, her legs are well underneath her. Don't don't wind her up too much. I want to just sit it standing if we can. There we go. The, the, the legs go straight down to the ground. When the dog is moving, when I ask them to go away from me and straight back to me, I'm looking to see what that front leg is doing because I want it to come from the back, swing past, stretch out, and land. I don't want to see any of this flapping at the bottom. I don't want to see any kind of break. I don't want to see elbows popping. All right. Same with the back. You want to see that dog as, as the dogs move faster, they're going to come to center. I either their legs come onto a center line on the back. You want to see the dog driving through the rear. You want to see, you want to see those hot straight up and down when it's running. You don't want to see you don't want to see hawks turned in. You don't want to see knitting and cur curling. You don't normally see that in a Rottweiler, but you'll see it in a lot of other different breeds, like mostly smaller breeds. So what you're seeing now, the depth of thigh that she has there is, is lovely. That is that is muscle, it's also muscle attachment. But to have that with the, the of thigh typically designates that they have good rear angulation. When you see dogs with a thinner thigh, they're probably much more upright and don't have the same same angulation. The other thing that we look for is well let down hocks. So your hocks are, hello baby, are right down here. You want them well let down. What that does is that also enables the dog to have better turn of stifle in the rear. If the dogs are straight in the rear, i.e. They, they either have longer hocks or or they're standing underneath themselves they're not going to have the ability to drive and they normally have more knee problems like cruciate problems um so we're looking for four chests we're looking for fill under the chest like typically if i'm judging at a ckc event i'm tucking, tucking my hand underneath my finger and leg, checking for that fill we're checking for muscle. And, and you're gonna you're gonna go to that you're gonna go to the, the hind end and you're gonna you're gonna feel the thigh and make sure that you actually feel a thigh that there is not jello dog underneath there, okay? Because that drives me absolutely insane. It's a, if it's a working dog, sporting dog, herding dog, they should be in condition. Doesn't matter if it's a Schutzen trial or a CKC trial. Doesn't matter. Those those are breeds should be in condition. So then, the last thing you want to do is you want to take a line along the top line and you want to make sure that the head and the neck is above that line and you want to make sure that when you take a line from here up, that the head and the neck is in front of that line. Okay? Because I've judged dogs that I swear the back of their head was back here. And what happens, they normally have a U-neck and their head is set back like this. So for you guys, what you want to do is you want to look for a Rottweiler. Front legs well set under for sure. I have to get. Okay. You want to have this nice four chest in front. You want to have a level top line. Tail set. 
the tail is supposed to be an extension of the <laughs> ex extension of the top. Right? We didn't do it for hundreds of years for a tail. So how do we do have tails? It's something that breeders have to address, and and it should be the first four inches should be the extension of the top side, top line, and then it can come up. Ideally, you don't want it curling up over the back or curling over one hip or the other. But for 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 clients to have have that have duck dogs, breeders for the longest time were breeding for that high tail set because they thought it made the top line look shorter. And and now now we're dealing with it because we have tails. So eventually, the croup angle should be changed back to where it was. It should be 30 degrees off of level. By by doing that, it actually increases the dog's ability to drive off the rear. Okay, the 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 the, the engine of the dog is the back half of the dog. The transmission is the front half of the dog. By having that 30 degree croup changes the pelvic girdle, allows the dog to drive off the rear. Okay? Any and questions? Just move the dog. So move, the dog. move the dog. So okay. do you want a sloping croup? I want it just slightly. Yes. And like you can tell by your tail set, right? Because yeah. basically what I want to see is I want to look at the dog and I just want to see the tail set coming straight off and then I don't care where yeah, it goes. Because I've had mine at you know. a couple of Seeger shows and she's been judged and every time they said she has a slight sloping screw like sloping croup. Yeah, it's just you don't so, want too much of yeah. a sloping croup because then what happens is basically she's standing underneath herself, yeah. right? Yeah. So the other thing you have to watch is is that you don't have too long of a second thigh in in the rear. Um, it was it was dogs were over angulated in the U.S. several years ago, and you could actually hear when the dogs were running on the mat, you could actually hear their feet scuffing because they couldn't physically lift their feet off the mat because they were over angling when they bring their foot forward it was actually scuffing forward so all that is is just in, inefficient movement and 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 not correct more is not better right? <laughs> like when you read the rottweiler standard moderate 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 so more is not better uh we went to the club seeger show in, i think it was 2016 or 2017 some of the the males there look like gorillas like just absolutely ridiculous too much stock too much zygomatic arch too much too much too much skull it didn't even look like a rottweiler anymore so more is not better and i think that's the thing we have to remember is breed to the standard be true to the standard and uh and don't follow whatever fad happens to be happening at the time so when we move dogs send them around we want to see them from the side i'm looking at that that line from the nose to the ground making sure that the dog is reaching that far making sure that there's equal triangles underneath the dog as far as reach and drive is concerned coming and going i want to see the dog clean that those legs come absolutely straight forward and land at the full extension there's no uh, paddling no twisting no popping elbows <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, and, and the same in the back. I want, I just want to see clear. Um, you want to see nice, tight feet, short nails, short nails. Um, if if you allow your dog's nails to over, over go, you're, you're going to lose your tight feet, tight feet, or tight in the back once you've lost them. Okay, any other questions? Okay, move her. No. I'm treated like no, I'm not treating her like treating her. <laughs> no. So basically, you, you just you want the dog at a trot. So it's not the fastest rot water in the ring wins. Though everybody thinks that faster is better. It's just Do you want to try it? They I just, love running. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, karma, karma! Don't let her see the ball. Yeah. You go, go, <laughs> karma. Let go, push, push. Okay, so you want to move them. You don't want to be stringing them um, off the front end, but you want to you want to move them on a on a light tension lead. 
and take long strides because if you stride short, the dog will match you, they will stride short, and then you're not doing your dog any, any, any favors any favors at all. And then when the judge asks you to go away and come back, it's basically look up, find a point on the bushes there and run directly for it. Otherwise you start doing this and we can't see anything and then return straight back to the judge again. Okay? So did you guys see the triangles underneath when she was moving? So that's what you're looking for. Like in puppies, they change tons. So patience is a virtue. You know, don't... I tell people just, you know, love them and don't look too hard for a while because it's gonna drive you, it's gonna drive you crazy because you're gonna look one day and think, oh, the dog looks great. The next day says, oh, no. So like, don't... Don't, don't, don't get upset. <laughs> okay, Jane? Yeah? Good. Thank you.